Hi, beautiful explorers. Welcome or welcome back. Yes, my voice is like that, but I'm feeling like to have a reading with you. My voice is very low, but I want to share energies with you regarding the question of today, beautiful souls. So what do people remember most about you? And let's watch together the three piles or mazes as I call it. This is for pile one is mouth spirit for you to pick and connect with as well. We have for pile number two and maze number two as well, the dragonfly spirit. And last but not least, we do have the fox spirit for maze and pile number three. So whenever you feel the connection with one of the pile, one of the details, also the images with flowers, with um, animals, or maybe a color that is calling you, whenever you are ready and connected with your intuition to receive your message, you can click in the description box and you will see me and find me at the beginning of your maze. I see you there. I explore, this is your choice for maze and pile number one. We do have the mouth spirit, it's surrender now. So let's enter it and let's keep it here at the center of our reading. So let's gather the energies for today. I'm feeling like surrender now is like people remember of you that you have a very brave uh, path and I'm feeling like surrendering sometimes is like the best options if we are you know letting go it's like letting go of something it is acceptance it's like i'm feeling like you really accept things and people do notice to perceive um of your energies by your vibing that you really accept things and you are really able to digest them and to create is like new fuel in your life and this is like the starting point and also the key for this maze. But let's see together if it is resonating with other oracle cards. My dear pile number one. I feel like this card is calling. You have rest. Let's use the animal. Oracle cards for you. Pile number one. Why are you remembered? So why do people remember you? What do they remember most about you? We do also have the skunk spirit. Know your worth. Okay, very intriguing for me. I'll give it in here. And then I want other oracles for you, dear soul. This one I'm feeling. Okay. Follow your vision. Never lose sight of what is really important. Wow. And also, this one was calling, so I will keep it. It's like a partnership for a new age. It is time to welcome it. Wow. Okay. So, dear soul, I'm feeling like. People do really remember your energies and your vibration because I'm feeling like you're enhancing your worth. It's like you have a lot of energies and it's like you are taking the reins to your own horses, you know, to the course to bring your own chariot. And it's like you know perfectly the timing for the right um, resting, to take some rest and take care of yourself. And also to recognize your worth and take care of it too. So I'm feeling like you have some kind of very specific vision of yourself. This is including also the pack you see of wolves. So it's like you're not losing the sight of what is important with this card. So I feel like you're very determined. It's a very determination um, that I do perceive in here. Also, it's like you are remembered for... Having this sort of vision regarding yourself and your mystical path. And I'm feeling like this is very 
connecting with the right timing to do things so, such as resting, taking care, being very active and proactive with your own things. And also with this partnership for the ages, for the new age, new era is coming. And I'm feeling like you're perfectly trying to define the steps and it's like you're into that. So it's like you're really able to welcome all the news, all the new information and i'm coming to you i feel like it's like you're able to mirror yourself and to into the pack into the people you have around and it's like surrender now is like very similar to letting go of something it's like embracing your worth embracing your talents embracing also your gift it's like you remember for being the first person maybe for other people at the eyes of other people that is really able to create a perfect storytelling around yourself and it's like the way it's shown to them is really you know in perfect equilibrium dear pile number one but i want some tarot more so let's see let's enter more and more your uh, reading with using some tarots let me grab them one card was was not coming out of the box. I will be shuffling for you. I want four cards for you. Okay, my dear explorer. So, what do people remember most about you? File one. We have the two of pentacles. We have the three of pentacles. We have the Six of Pentacles. I want this one. And we have the Fool. Very beautiful energies. Very corresponding and matching also the Oracle cards. But let's see what's at the back of the deck. You have the Queen of Swords. Very strong personality. I feel like here I'm, I'm picking the vibe of very hair signs and also the influence of very Earth, Earth energies. You know, you see how many pentacles we do have. So I'm picking that. And also in here, we do have the ace of pentacles. Yes, it's reversed, but I do not consider the reverse, you know. So first of all, I feel like you're very decided. This card is really super resonating with the other cards. It's like you're really able to understand and to divide what is good and what is not good for you. So I feel like you have a list in your mind and it's like you're really able to perceive the not the intention, I'm feeling like the results. That's why you're really pragmatic also in the choices you're taking and you're really able to cut ads as in this representation. So I'm feeling like you're a very fierce personality, very strong personality. I feel like some kind of Libra, Aquarius vibe in here and Gemini as well. So it must be for sure that you are really able to, it's about discernment, right? So it's like you have this beautiful skill to let in what is good for you and, you know, let go of the stuff that is not, um, that are not for you. With this two of pentacles and this three of pentacles, we do see a progression in your path. So I'm thinking like with this resting is like you're handling something very well. So this is juggling. This is can be also for jiggling. So it's like you are waiting things and is like you are able to manage multiple layers of your personality, of your career, and also of your, you know, beautiful mystical path. So this card also meaning that you have two sides of yourself and you're taking care of both. And this is very important. So that's why people remember of you because they admire your skill to do so. Also because you're very able to collaborate. It's like know your worth. It's like for leading to for guiding other people is very necessary that you're very centered on yourself and it seems like that in this reading so three is the number of the team is like very connecting with the pack of wolf and also with the six of pentacles so whenever you are gathering forces with other people that are you feel like part of your tribe part of your pack okay it's like you gather new forces and energies and by knowing your you know gifts by knowing your point of strength, your strengths, you know, is like you're able to work in team, but 
yes, guiding other, being the leader sometimes, but I feel like you're doing very mysteriously. It's like you're not doing too with the exaggerated volume in the things you say, in the things you're throwing at the face of other people. It's like you're very perfectly balanced to do so because you know your worth and it's not necessary to scream at somebody to make it into a very good collaboration. And it's like you have this beautiful capacity to gather people around you and make them work together actually for a good aim for maybe they're following your own vision that we see in here is like you never lose sight of what is really important and that's also why you are starting all the exchanging um and the relationship by this beautiful exchange so the six is like you helping other and you are receiving something back so it's a very balanced vision and that's why you can surrender to the things that are meant to reach you and you're able to let go the things that were not so it's like very centered personality very it's like you're stood on the ground it's like you're very still it's like you are rooted on the ground and you know all the phases of the things you are doing very awaken your eyes are so open also for new things that are coming in so we see uh with this card and also with the full card that is number zero so a brand new beginning you know it's like sound crazy but i feel like we do see this beautiful uh cliff also in here and i'm picking that new age is coming new era very aquarian vibe that i do feel so even though people do perceive you as foolish, as fresh, as someone who is very youngish with energies, it's like you can renovate yourself with new visions, with new details, and also the energies you're putting into something, you know, the efforts that you're putting that are for the best for your tribe. And I feel like you're so generous and so radicated from one side, very, you know, conscious, you know, and awakened for um, to understand your path and to see, to have your vision. And also I feel like you're really open to new things that are coming. And this is like in this period, the word that is coming to my mind is resilience. So I feel like you have this resilient attitude that is, you know, saving your your back every time. And it's like you have your eyes super open. So the energies is coming very strong in, strong, uh, strongly in like this queen of, sword so very witty cleverish as well and very determined to take decisions because discernment is like the best uh, characteristic and also communication something like also you are really able to communicate with yourself first and also to put all those beautiful energies my dear soul um at disposal of other for the community for the tribe as well so a very beautiful reading. I feel like your personality is super beautiful and you're really helping and you have no regret in helping other people and being helped with in this accessory because you know there is an exchange with a tribe and this is very beautiful and I feel like a new panorama, a new horizon is coming for you and you're really, you know, aware of that. So this is like high vibration that I do perceive from your reading pile number one. So, dear explorer, let's take a few seconds to let in the message for you that apply to your case and leave out the rest. So, thank you very much for spending your time with me. I hope that you enjoy it. If so, you have many actions possible and in here you're always welcome, okay? So, thank you again and I hope to see you in the next reading. I wish you the very best. Bye. Hello beautiful soul, welcome to your reading. This is for maze number two that you just picked and selected. So this is the Dragonfly Spirit. I love these colors. It reminds, it reminds me of autumn leaves. And also I feel like with this green and this um, bluish vibe that I get, it's like there is no limit from earth. So the grass, you know, and nature all around to the sky. And you also have a crown, some sort of crown in here. So the, the phrase for you is truth transcends illusion. Wow, this is so strong. Number 22, I don't know if it has a special meaning. So this will be our starting point and as usual, our, you know, um, final destination. So the, the final key to, so we'll keep it in here as a sort of guidance for you to see if it is resonating as this is general. 
So I'm trying to catch the energies from this card and I'm feeling like, you know, a dragonfly for me is so free to, you know, go wherever she wants uh, or it wants, you know, I'm feeling like personalizing animals. That's my limit. Um, I'm feeling like you are really free in your mind. It's like you have this transcendent uh, characteristic based on no illusions in your life. It's like your eyes are open and it's like you're super able to understand situation, understand people, to see the truth. And this is like very um, heavy sometimes, I know, it's not easy. I'm feeling like you have been working a lot on your mental, um, you know, scheming. And I feel like you've been cleaning a lot of energies and a, a lot of bad patterns in here. That's the, the hint for the moment. You know, I'm feeling like you are able to dream as well. This is what this comes to me. So it's like you're reaching very high level on something in life for your mystical path. Maybe also for a career. I don't know in this precise moment. But we will see together with the oracles. And I feel like... It's like you are unstoppable because whenever you are ready to see things for what they truly are, you do not have string um, attached, you know. It's like you're not um, in a square, you know. And I feel like you're very free um, with your mindset. So let's use some uh, oracle cards to see if it is your message. What is your message, dear pile number one? We have two cards, okay. We have the cut spirit. Claim your independence. Cards are speaking very loud today. And then we have Coyote Spirit. Trust in Divine Detours. Okay, so something is really happening. I'm feeling like very, you know, on fire energies in here. Very of action, of action. So let's use some other tarots. My dear soul. This one is calling. We have joy. This is like strength card for me. Very peaceful and very of completion, you know. Let's use some other. Uh, wow. <laughs> this was meant for you, my dear. We have awakened all your senses. Slow down and become aware of them. This is so powerful to old. And you see we have a fire. I don't know what kind of... We also have a butterfly that for me is very related to the freedom of mind. It very reminds me of um, air signs, you know. Very beautiful and very reddish too. So green, blue and red are all over the places in this reading, my dear soul. So I'm feeling like with this cat spirit, is like... You are claiming something because you know your worth. And by seeing, you know, this is for external things for sure. But I'm really picking that this is for yourself too, first at all. It's like you're able to see yourself. And that's um, why you are so remembered and admired by other people. I feel like they do remember of you most because you're so awakened. It's like you trust in magic you trust in the invisible and it's like you're full of gratitude you're full of joy it's like you're super open with your energies and i'm also grabbing some kind of third eye uh somewhere in here because we do have those symbols also on the animals you know i feel like we we have two parts of yourself that is one is for sure um more feline and the other one is much more for a pack, you know, this is like, Coyote is like a wolf for me. So I'm really feeling like you, you have been balancing very beautifully all your sides, such as, for example, you know, the dark sides of yourself. It's like you were able because you wanted to. And it's like you're making such a great job pile to dear explorer and dear soul. And finally, by embracing all the, all the lights, all the, you know, obscurities and all the dark, um, darkest corners of your personality, is like you're developing this gratitude and joy to the world. This is like strengthening 
of your power is like a willpower is like you are gathering your energies because you're very conscious of them about them you know your limits you know the way to develop your gifts probably possibly i feel like for some of you it's like this fire is also for fire signs and i'm feeling like you are really able to communicate to the world and to other people that's why they do remember of you because you have a, such a big personality such a strong personality because you know when you accept yourself it's like nobody can touch you you know you know, don't need to defend your rights you don't need to defend uh, your position because you are okay because you are balanced within yourself you know internally and there is nothing uh, externally that can that can um, modify you know and change that that condition because you're so centered and this is like for me also taking care of yourself being so grateful for things you have inside for the things you have learned i feel like a lot of lessons and it's like you have this tranquility right now you see we have the grass we have flowers we have you know we have some harps uh, in here we have one harp in here and, and I'm feeling like this is so beautiful. Also very connected with communication with some form or of heart. It's like this card is communicating tranquility. It's like all your energies are coming to other people, embracing them and let them understand and see how you are, you know, in control of yourself. And this is so precious. This is very rare to reach such a high level of self-consciousness you know your own stream of consciousness you know your limits and you know your strengths you know and feel like a very complete uh, personality that you have and also this one i'm feeling like when you are too involved in the things you do because um, this is like for me leo card you know it's like a lion is like you're taming the beast it's like accepting your own um emotional side and trying to balance it with the rest of your personality by embracing that but not by scolding your interior lion it's like you are trying to not to tame it not to tame the beast you know you have inside it's like you're accepting it it's like you're making uh, love to yourself and this is so deep and, and profound and i feel like you are awakening all your sensi senses when they say slow down and become aware of them is like sometimes you are too on fire i feel like on your enterprises and that could be the case for some of you if it is resonating that you are too you put too fuel you know on fire and sometimes you need to slow down because i feel like you have such a strong personality this is for leadership but first of all the leadership is for yourself you know the way you manage your skills gift your mystical views visions talents as well is super coming together united let's have four cards for you my dear explorer you see the truth in you and in other people as well you know i want four cards for you dear explorer i want this we have the emperor okay such a leader we have the death card we have the ace of pentacles i don't know this one was calling or this one was calling this one we have the knave of pentacles is the page of pentacles at the back of the back we do have the tree the answer of swords okay my dear soul, let me move the cards just a little. So I'm really grabbing the sensation that you know, uh, you've been passing through many harsh times sometimes, you know, I don't know if it is a recent history or it's coming from the past, but I'm feeling like a lot of griefing came into your life. And for some of you, it's like delusional energies of betrayal, of grieving, of sadness. It's like this is not the, the a heart, a proper heart. Those are swords. And I'm feeling like you know that 
the way you digest things were not necessary the way things were okay and i'm picking like your soul and your mind right now are trying to accept things to see them perfectly and to overcome this phase of confusion when you it's like when you entrapped yourself and you it's like it could be some sort of sabotage you know you are not letting go of something another card of grief in the five of cups is like you felt very pessimistic in the past but i'm feeling like the energies that are coming in and the process you decided to to start you know to see to embrace were a sort of revolution and i'm feeling like because you're independent is like you are the ruler right now so people in the past as well and right now more and more is like you're increasing your leadership the way you um rule into your own world and so taking decision deciding your deciding your own rules and this is like very empowering so you're not letting emotions come in the way in your way and on your way sorry and I'm feeling like you're really cleaning out those bad uh, thoughts that you have that were stuck in your heart to um, stop the griefing, okay? I'm feeling like with this trust in divine detours is very connected with this death card. It's like this card of transformation. It's like all the illusions, all the unnecessary things were let go away. So it's like you were cleaning all your energy. This is a very deep process and profound and you embrace it and i'm feeling like people do perceive that because you wanted to stay free to is like you don't want to have burdens that were not meant for you in this lifetime and also in the past is really it's like you understand that you are meant to have joy and this beautiful ace of pentacles is like a brand new start so there were a precise moment where you decided to free yourself, to empower yourself. And to do that, first of all, you, you, you know, demonstrate the courage to see your own image is like in a mirror, to understand that you are mortal so that you have limits and they'll also come back to your bones. So the truth, the true um, authentical self, and it's like you're connecting with yourself so precisely and so strongly to make something, you know, pragmatical in the outside world. It's like you're recentering, restarting also. With this, this is a page of pentacles as well. So fire and earth, I do really understand and feel here. Even though we have butterflies and even though we do see many feathers as well is like you are lighter right now and by setting yourself free and you know claiming your independence and also understanding what's important you know is like your pillar so it's like a skeleton you you dig deep to your bones to understand who you are okay and what you're meant to be and who you're meant to be it's like you're completing your cycle and this is like even though you seem a page because you are too rushy sometimes because when we are on fire for some of you my dear explorer when we we exaggerate things and we rush too much and we go too fast we forgot little details that can be important keys to to read your our own attitude and to open our eyes to free our eyes you know so this is everything and this dragonfly spirit is like truth transcends illusion is like you have right now brand new a brand new panorama a brand new point of view in yourself you're very so honest to understand it to embrace it and to allow yourself to embrace the truth truth um the truth that were within you so this is like of authenticity and pure joy so you are on fire very very um i can say that very a lot of leadership in here so y you want to set your own rules right now and that's why you are so remembered admired and loved as well you know this is so beautiful and very strong personality i can say very very of command you know masculine energies for sure <laughs> okay beautiful explorer this was everything so take a few seconds to let the 
energies in for your message as applied to your case. I thank you very much for staying with me and I give you my blessings for your path. This was so intense and beautiful. And if you enjoyed, you can make many clicks and actions. I thank you again very much and I hope to see you very, very soon. Bye. Hello, Pile 3. Dear Explorer, this is the Fox Spirit that you just picked. I'm feeling like very reddish and orange color that I see. How intense are these eyes? Very beautiful. So think on your feet. Very expressive, I would say. So this would be our starting point to enter your own energies and message for you. And also a possible final key, you know, that collects all your energies, dear soul. First of all, let me say how strong and potent and intelligent can be. Also very cleverish, for sure, a fox can be. Um, the energies that are coming to me are, are, are of someone who is really able, dear soul, to take care of yourself, to think and be very strategic, be very cleverish on things in life. It's like you have a solution for every kind of problem, while sometimes people mostly have many problems for every solution, uh, you know, for every solution. I'm feeling like this is the right case. So you're, it's like you're centered. It's like they do remember of you because you're very strong with your mindset, able to tame all the beasts, all the energies, all the situations. It's like a problem solver to me also. Very cleverish. I want some oracle for you, my dear. You have to conform is to die inside. Be brave and be yourself. You know, orange color again and radish. Let's see other cards, dear explorer. So what do people remember most about you? Strength. Again, we do see fires in here and also some treasures. This could be a warrior, a warrior with a very peaceful panorama on the mountains. Also this one. I'm sorry with my voice is very low. We have divine light for sure. Someone that is, you know, hit by the light of knowledge as well, of understanding the situation and your own gifts as well. Last oracle deck. I want one card more for you. Pile one, dear soul. Sorry, pile three. <laughs> this is pile three. Okay. We have the Skara Beetle Spirit. Its magic works through you. Wow. So, dear pile number three. I'm feeling like in here extra potent energies. So I'm feeling like you're very awakened in here. All the three piles were strong with different, you know, gifts and illumination point. I feel like your light for being so cleverish and understanding situation people and be so strategic is like a divine power that was given also from your angel guides, from your spirit guide. It's like you deserve that and is is given back to you right now. It's like you are opening your mind, opening your eyes. It's like People do remember of you that you are so able and not afraid to see things, to embrace your own special gifts. I'm feeling like in here, uniqueness is the perfect word for you um, to receive. It's like you have a very special gift, special vision in life. It's like your authentic self, uh, authentic self is right there watching at you is like you accepting your authentic side is like making you so brave and so courageous to do whatever you want it's like you can move mountains okay it's like you were trying uh, in the past not to die inside and you were so clever 
and so humble to listen to yourself, you know, and to understand that by being courageous, you are embracing, embracing like the true self and by having those keys and this specific key before other keys is like you're allowing yourself to a bright future like the way it was meant for you it's like you were thinking for yourself with your own mind with your own persona so your soul was giving you many signals was sending you many messages it's like the exchange with your deeper self with your inner self also with the child you know that you once were is like People do remember that you were listening to that part of yourself very soon, you know, maybe sooner than, than other people, than most people. And it's like, that's the way you found your strengths, you know, you, you found your power, you found your willpower and you moved in the right direction, you know. And it's like by being so clever, by being so able to stop and listen before you know, put yourself uh, very rush into many situations. It's like this allowing you to to bloom, to reach the light. It's like a sort of climax that hard to perceive in here with this, this divine light that is making you everything, you know, brighter. And it's like you embrace your brighter future because you were so connected with yourself that people do really see that in you by the way you bring your results and the choices that you've been making in your life so they do really remember that kind of energies of you my dear explorer and i'm feeling like a special connection with your spirits with the animals with nature i feel like you have a lot of treasures and you believe in the invisible because we do have magic works through you not only for you but all also through you so it's like this you know beetle is so beautiful so potent and i'm feeling like you are discovering your gifts throughout your life and people do see you making those steps embracing your authenticity and it's like you made um that part of you that key like the super um special power of yours so your personality i'm feeling like is very defined very defined personality i want four targets for you knight of cups okay this one. nine of pentacles eight of wands I want this one. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. For sure. Transformation and also the Tower. It's like you are disruptive and you disruptively um, understand. So it's like you made collapse the things that were untrue to you. That were not serving your purpose. That was not connecting with your soul, with your highest energies and with your higher self and it's like the way you are seen is also for sure for someone disruptive but very reactive to ready ready to build to rebuild to burn the things that that were not you know serving you on your cause on your vision on your mystical path and it's like you were ready you were so proactive to accept that and you were ready to destroy to rebuild it's like the greek version of you know when they need to make some kind of speech it's like you need to it's like thesis and antithesis you know it's like to become um aware of the whole situation you need to start from a starting point that sometimes is the opposite of what you think and right now you have to destroy it and also in the past you did that with your energies in order to build something more rooted more true more authentic for yourself so there's nothing that could stop you this is like burn everything you know that we're not serving you and i'm feeling like 
to be brave, you are acting like the Knight of Cups. So very supportive energy is coming your way. It's like you hold a cup. It's like you are really able to offer to yourself the support you needed. And also that's why you can also support other people externally, okay? Internally, I feel like you're very emotional. This is from emotion side. I'm feeling like also with this strength card is like sometimes you understood and maybe for some of you, this is very um, specific. You were able to understand that to be strong, as much um, strong as you desire, you needed to be independent. This is the Knight of Pentacles. So very ready with your energies. I feel like a lot of independence in here and you know all your strength, you know, and weaknesses as well. It's like with this light too, it's like you're moving. So those cards are for movement. This is like, a starting point very disruptive with your energies but this is like communication coming closer to your light being able to move to overcome obstacles is like a communication card for sure it's like you're able to have a dialogue have a sincere dialogue with the self and that's why also you are remembered for being so you know, discursive, you know, assertive as well. This is a card of a speaker for sure as well. It's like you're really able to move the way you want, you know. Also very fast. It's like you know where you're like, you see? Wow. If we see that this way, we do have the sunlight here and also another sun, you know, in here. So it's like your direction is very defined, you know. You accept also the shadows, the rocks, the limits of things. But you are very quiet and peaceful of mind because you, you know it all. You know your things and you know which way to go as you're moving very fast and, you know, steady on your own too. And finally... You are so rich. You are so rich because the Wheel of Fortune, you see how much abundance is bringing transformation cards. So something is spinning your way. So everything you have around right now as a sense, as a function, is like when you observe nature and is the seasoning of time, you know, and you understand that there is a time for seeding, there is a time to, you know, grab your harvest, to receive an harvest, to drink, to enjoy, you know, to transform like a serpent and to use some ingredients that make more uh, colorful your plate, your dish, and it's like eating, enjoying life, um, this is abundance card for fortune as well. So it's like you're very lucky right now and some cycle ended. And it's like you have this circular movement inside of yourself. It's like a rebirth card for me as well. This transformation is so powerful and everything is spinning. Some occasions are coming to you and you were able to see them because you understand the magic of life, the magic of nature as well. And by accepting this, that you let things happen, very special things, because you are so special. You are so unique. This is about your uniqueness. This is about your intuition to understand the timing on things as well. To understand what is a seed, how to water your field, how to bring home the results. You know, you want a beer or wine. It, it's on the table, on your table, prepared for you, you know. You are so independent and strong. And this is about uniqueness, for sure. So the fox spirit, again, is like you have these special eyes and insight. And they are coming to a completion. So it's like you have turned um, everything in your favor. And that's why you're so remembered and admired, loved, you know? And I feel like this is everything. Very, very potent, my dear explorer. So this is everything for, for the moment, for this reading. So I hope that you enjoy and take all the things that are resonating as this was general. I give you a few seconds to let in the energies and you know, let go the rest that was not meant for you.
so thank you for listening and watching if you enjoyed you can make many actions and by being so blessed and feel like i hope to see you very very soon thank you for staying i see you